Football fans, a very interesting group of people. Not always the most logical, and they definitely can be biased from time to time. I mean, if you're an Arsenal fan, you might just think that Saka is the best youngster in the entire world. And if you're a Barcelona fan, you might think Ronaldo is trash. So football fans, not always the most logical, but definitely a good source of entertainment. And ladies and gentlemen, where do the worst of the worst football fans come together to make the most ridiculous comments? Facebook, a platform for middle-aged women to share minion memes and football fans. There really is no in-between. Except for maybe dads that look at their phone like... <laughs> so that's why in today's video I will be reacting to some of the worst football comments in the entire world on Facebook and if this is something that you enjoy and you want to see a part 2 of it please get this video to 10 likes and this channel to 900 subscribers we are so very very close and I would appreciate it so if we hit those two goals I will do a part 2 and you know what if you enjoy the content you might as well go ahead and do so so in terms of a Facebook page to do it on I don't actually know if I can show the page's name. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for it. I don't know if anything will happen to my YouTube channel, if I'll get banned or anything. But I'm going to try my luck. And if I do get in trouble and get banned from YouTube, well, it was a great two years. Thank you for the support. I'll miss you guys. But I'll be reacting to the EPL, KPL, La Liga, Serie A, League One and Bundesliga fan zone. What, what would KPL be? Kenyan Premier League. Okay, good place to start. Okay, so we get our first comment to react to. Manchester United has not lost an away EPL game this season. Yes, I'm very happy to hear so, but that's not the entertaining part. I just, look, I, I know that not everyone on this page is necessarily an English tongue at heart. As you can see, group was formed in Kenya, but the, wow, the comment sections are just, they are just something special. Have not uh, lost an EPL game away this season. You say... Talk me again, make I hear. Much wisdom. Man U is my team, and you? Don't miss this opportunity. This is my testimony on how I finally joined the worldwide Illuminati after I've been joining over two years. 20 minutes later. Illuminati brotherhood and achieve your dreams to make a good plan for your children and family. Man City. Okay, so obviously this is recorded really soon after the Atletico Madrid and Chelsea game. And as you can see, Chelsea fans are making a tiny bit of noise as Olivia Giroud is better than Ronaldo for now. Olivia Giroud is better than Messi for now. I'm not sure I agree with that one. And of course, on this Facebook page, you always get the worst comparisons. And I feel like that's always what you get on football. And there's always comparisons that you really just you can't compare Mason Mount to Scott McTominay. How, how on earth do you compare an attacking midfielder to a defensive midfielder? I just, I don't know. Mount, Mount, Mount. Of course, everyone's going to go for Mount because, of course, Mason Mount scores the goals. He's an attacking midfielder. But I, I don't know, it's like comparing, not even apples to oranges, it's like having an orange and a, and a hot dog. Congratulations Chelsea for the win, although we all know the goal was offside. Okay, now that's the different side of the spectrum. Obviously someone who I don't think is a Chelsea fan, but you know what, if you are unaware at this stage that if a defender passes the ball to an offside position for the opposition's attacker and they scored that it's not offside, if you don't know that rule by now, then it is completely lost on you. And maybe people in the comment section will agree with me. Nah, the cable wire you been day watch. Offside. <laughs> Guess the midfield. Um... <laughs> what? Arsenal should tell Chelsea to sack for them their coach. I'm not... Who who should get sacked? I'm not sure if this is for Arteta or for Tuchel. Why Chelsea should also go and suck Lampard from his house because really wasted them a lot. Sack or suck? That really changes the context of things. Breaking, Kingsley Coman is tired of winning league titles and other big trophies every season since he was at PSG and now Bayern Munich. He also did forget about Juventus, but I'll let that slide. He now wants to join Manchester United. Well, that's a bit of a dig. I'm quite insulted at that. Who, who are Chelsea? 
Okay, so I'm assuming that you support Chelsea with a name like that. Chelsea's mayor. How's a Chelsea fan going to say that Manchester United are tired of winning trophies? Excuse me, the last trophy you won, I'm pretty sure about, is the Europa League. Which is what you're teasing us now about being in. This is not a fair playing field, my friend. How can you, Chelsea, beat only one goal Atletico? If it was Man U, we could have beaten them nine goals like Southampton, yet we will not be making noise. <laughs> we will... My buddy, we're not in Champions League, we're in Europa League. Don't give this crap about beating Atletico Madrid 9 goal. What do you mean we're not made? You've just made noise. That is literally what you've just done. I cannot... Oh, yeah, trust me, if Manchester United played Atletico Madrid, look, I love United till the end of my days, but if we played Atletico Madrid, we're looking at a 3-0 score for Atletico Madrid, unfortunately. How can you tell? I don't... Why are we so dumb, man? You're a fool. A fool. Comparing 8th Atletico Madrid, I'm assuming. No, Southampton, I'm guessing. You should have done that to 2009 team when they were thrashing you. <laughs> okay, finally. Okay, now I enjoy this comment. Lazio joins the group. Bayern beats Lazio 4-1, obviously, in the Champions League. And there, all the other teams consoling, like, it'll be okay. I, I quite enjoy that meme. That's, okay, that's a good meme. I'll give you credit for that one. The jumping we want to see Bruno doing so that he can break his spinal cord. Oh my god, I didn't read that comment before I got... That's rough. You've just wished a player to break his back. <laughs> What's wrong with you? This squad capable of winning anything, including your heart, the Portuguese national team. You know what? I will say this. I'm, I'm probably going to do a video a bit closer to the Euros, but Portugal is looking very strong for the Euros. I, I like this comment. This is a good comment. Where? How do I? How do I like? I don't know. I never use Facebook on my on my laptop, but. You know what? Looking at this team, it is a very strong team um, going into the Euros. I think this team could do a lot of damage. Obviously, Diaz is probably the best centre-back in the Premier League at the moment. Um, we, I don't know whether we'll see Guerrero there or Concello and then maybe Nelson Semedo and right back. I don't know. Guerrero has been doing really well lately, but this Portuguese team is looking so strong. I think. I'm going to put down this prediction now. Portugal will make the finals or at least semi-finals of the Euros. They are looking very strong. Only Fernandez not deserve. Why? Why does Fernandez not deserve to be in this team? Are you just not a Manchester United fan? Is that... I don't understand this craze of because someone doesn't support the team, like doesn't support a specific team that, that makes every player in that team trash. I absolutely hate that. Just because you're a Liverpool fan doesn't mean that you can't admit that Bruno Fernandes is a good player. He's got like the second most assists and goals in the Premier League this season. Like I'm a Manchester United fan. I have no problem admitting that Mo Salah is the best attacker in the Premier League this season. I don't understand why you have to be biased in football. I'm a Barcelona fan, but I can still appreciate Cristiano Ronaldo. Man, this is messed up. <laughs> There's no Manchester United. I repeat, no Man U player can score that goal. Giroud goal, never. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, my worst fear. Messi to Arsenal. Imagine if something like that happened. Your Arsenal Photoshop designer is on fire. Now that is dreadful. If Messi moved to Arsenal, that would... You know what? I... <sighs> Look, I, I like to believe that anything can happen in football, but mm, Arsenal getting Messi, I'm not too sure that a mid-table London team could get Messi. I'm pretty sure there's a bigger chance of Messi moving to West Ham United than, than Arsenal in upcoming transfer windows. And you know what? With links to Manchester City. Manchester City versus Arsenal. Who would I move to? It's not a very tricky decision. But ladies and gentlemen, that will probably be it for today's video. Once again, if you want to see a part two, please do leave a like down below and subscribe if you aren't. Get this video to 10 likes. If you want to see more, genuinely, guys, I could do this for hours. This is so entertaining. Like, people are definitely, like, they're interesting. I, I, people, 
look football opinions are very very interesting like i could genuinely look over this for absolute hours so i would love to do a part two of this so please do subscribe down below and like it if you do want to see a part two but that will be the end of today's video guys i hope you have enjoyed it this has been finn fy double n reacting to some of the most ridiculous football comments in the entire world keep safe have a good one cheers bye <laughs> Manchester United is playing today. The whole world is happy. Europa. <laughs> Funny guy.